Hi, this is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan as Wallpaper. One of the marks of a good painter is his or her straight lines, whether it be at the top of a wall, where it meets a ceiling, or your woodwork. Let me show you bad painting skills. Look at the crookedness of this line, okay? Follow it up. I'm telling you, I'm in construction now for since, actively since 2002. And this passes for professional grade painting, believe it or not. And you know what it does? It denigrates the painting labor, number one, and then it reduces the rate of a painter's wage. Because if this is acceptable, what's going to make a painter do a better job? If he's not gonna get paid well, he may as well just go quickly, right? That's what the name of the game is. Well, not in our business. I wanna show you how you remedy this. Now, we're only painting the walls. If we were painting the woodwork, here's what we would do. We would paint this white again. And I'd paint it first. I would hit this side first, let it dry, hit it again. After it's dry, I use tape. A lot of you say, oh, I don't use tape. That's not a professional painter. That's the way you want to paint. You cannot paint perfectly straight. I've seen the people who claim to be the best at it. Your lines are crooked. They're crooked because your hand is crooked. Your, your hand doesn't go straight down. This is the way to achieve a straight line. But how do you remedy the crooked wall paint on it, right? Is that going to alter the crookedness of the wall paint? No. So here's what you do. You're going to create an illusion. So where the wall paint comes onto the woodwork, as is the case right here where my finger is showing, you see how the wall paint comes right up onto the woodwork? What you're going to do is put the tape on the woodwork side of that. And that's going to be the, the, uh, the guide. That's going to be the plumb line. That's where it's going to start. Because if you start against the wall, you'll have a nice straight wall line. And after you take it off, you're going to have the old paint on the woodwork, right? So you're going to take your tape and put it just outside of your crooked line. So in order to do that, you have to go up the entire length of the woodwork and find out what is the greatest deviation onto your woodwork, which is the worst mess up. And then, unless it's all the way onto the woodwork, you put your tape line to the left of the mess up and simply bring your new wall paint all the way up. And although you will be painting wall paint onto your woodwork, the eye will not catch it because you're going to make a straight line. If you leave it like this, not only will you notice the crooked lines, but you'll see that they painted your wall paint and you'll know that it's on the woodwork. At least with this way, you'll straighten out all the lines. And this is what we're doing right now. We're going just outside the deviation to create a new line on the woodwork. Before we finish up, here's what we're going to do. Now, a lot of you are arguing with me on YouTube about this. So-called pros who have been doing it for years who don't do this. I'm going to take clear caulking. Do you trust this tape that there will be no bleeding underneath it? Do you trust it? Do you know how perfect this has to be against the woodwork in order for new paint not to get under it? it has to be pretty perfect. What I want to do is just simply run a bead of clear caulking. And why clear? Because it's not going to dry white and then you'll see white caulking against your blue wall or your green wall, whatever the color is. It'll dry the color of your new paint. I'm going to clog the imperfect adhesion of this tape, if there be any. And then I'm going to bring my new paint color down there and the caulking is going to prevent seepage of the paint underneath the tape. Can I have the caulking gun in the clear? Clear, please. 
Thank you. And the clear, that clear thing right on the, there you go. <clears throat> Thank you. In my caulking gun is a, is a tube of white caulking. We're not gonna use that. You see it's white? What you're gonna use is this. Clear caulking so that you put it just up against the tape. You clog the seepage points, put your paint on, and take your tape off right away. And what that'll do is give you a nice straight line, perfect and crisp. If you have any questions about the procedure, let me know. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan's Wallpaper. Thanks for watching my channel. Please click on like and subscribe to my channel.